6 represents the step change in Intel's server CPU strategy. Gone is the old Xeon scalable architecture and gone is the old platinum, gold, silver and bronze naming system. In their place are two distinct types of Xeon 6, each optimised for different workloads. This takes the form of a range of processors with performance cores and another with efficient cores. Unlike Intel's desktop core iCPUs, which have a mixture of P and E cores, Xeon 6s have either P or E cores, but not both. The Xeon 6 processors with P cores, known as Xeon 6900 or Graphite Rapids, provide the highest performance, making them the ideal choice for AI and HPC workloads. In contrast, the Xeon 6 processors with E cores, known as Xeon 6700 or Sierra Forest, are more efficient, making them ideal for situations where power, density or cooling is limited. And it's not just the types of cores that are different either. Xeon 6900s and 6700s are also optimised in other ways. Key differences include the number of threads, with Xeon 6900s having up to 128 cores and 256 threads, whereas Xeon 6700s have up to 144 cores and 144 threads. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you may be wondering why Xeon 6700s don't have more threads than cores, the answer being that e-cores don't support hyper-threading. Moving on, Xeon 6900s have 96 PCIe 5 lanes each, while Xeon 6700s have 88 each. There are also big differences in the memory controllers too, with Xeon 6900s supporting up to 3 terabytes of 12-channel DDR5, while Xeon 6700s only support 1 terabyte of 8-channel DDR5. All of this results in a massive size and power difference, with Xeon 6900s guzzling up to 500 watts, while Xeon 6700s consume a far more modest 330 watts. Still a lot of power, but that's the way that server CPUs and GPUs are going these days. On paper, these are huge spec improvements over Xeon Scalable, which in many ways were not competitive with AMD Epic. However, with Xeon 6, it looks like Intel may have finally regained its long-lost crown. With more cores, more PCIe lanes and more memory bandwidth than Epic. It'll no doubt depend a lot on your specific workloads, but the competition between Xeon and Epic just got a lot more interesting. Intel claims that Xeon 6900s provide twice the performance of 5th gen Xeon scalable CPUs in a wide range of workloads, including AI inference and machine learning. In contrast, Intel claims that Xeon 6700s deliver 2.6 times better results against 2nd gen Xeon scalable CPUs. And alongside the P and E cores sit the fixed function accelerators introduced with the 4th gen Xeon scalable. These include Intel In-Memory Analytics Accelerator, or IAA, Intel Data Streaming Accelerator, or DSA, Intel Dynamic Load Balancer, or DLB, and Intel Quick Assist Technology, also known as QAT. The 6900 series CPUs also feature Intel Advanced Matrix Extensions, or AMX, that provide up to 16 times more multiply accumulator operations than the previous generation, and Intel Advanced Vector Extensions, or AVX512, boosting the speed of vector mathematics common to AI, HPC, and database workloads. Advanced security is provided by Intel Trust Domain Extensions, offering isolation and confidentiality at the virtual machine level and featuring AES-256 and 2048 encryption keys. In addition, Intel's Software Guard Extensions provides application-level isolation. Intel Xeon 6 CPUs are available now in our custom-built servers from 3XS Systems. Follow the links in the description below to find out more or get in touch with our server experts who can advise you further.